Hey guys, it's Billy, and I'm getting married. <laughs> Pat is not with us today. He is over in that room not feeling well, and it kind of worked out because this week's video is pretty personal for me, and it's really personal for Pat too, but it specifically kind of revolves around my story and this process of planning a wedding. We were told while we were in the middle of planning this wedding that prepare for disappointments. And we were told that by gay couples, straight couples, a lot of people just said things will happen while you're planning this from the least expected people that might disappoint you. And so just prepare yourself for that because for such a happy event, you have to realize that there are gonna be some bumps along the road. The thing that no one ever really tells you is prepare for some really happy surprises. I feel like this idea of surprises, they, they happen because everyone lives in their own bubble. I know Pat and I live in a bubble, our families live in bubbles, like everyone in this world lives in a kind of bubble of what they find to be normal in their day-to-day -day life. And it's completely subjective. Like subjectivity is by far the one thing that no one thinks about because everyone puts everyone in a box. That's different, this is that, this is that, when the reality is we all live in a bubble of what we subjectively think is normal. There are definitely lines drawn where you can look and say like, these people are in my bubble and these people are out of my bubble. These are people that maybe won't understand and I may have to just work a little harder to help them understand because the people in the bubble are the ones that already get it, already look at us as being just like them. You know, every, you know we, we respect each other's lives and relationships. So, I officially had my moment. The moment where the world that slightly is maybe outside my bubble kind of came into my bubble and I realized that maybe there's more people that really look at my day-to-day -day life as if it's their day-to-day -day life. It's as normal as ever. And I appreciate that because there are people out there that go out of their way to tell you that you're different and your relationship's different and I don't. You know, those are probably the worst parts of planning this wedding. But the best part is the shocking part. When I went to my grandmother's house, my father had told me to uh, give her a call because she was asking a question about the wedding and wanted to ask me something. So I was going over to her house anyway. I planned on seeing her before she goes down to Florida. I arrived with some Boston Market because I'm not going to see her for Thanksgiving, so I wanted to give her like a little fake Thanksgiving. Um, so I get there and she asks me this question and pulls this out. She asks, do you want your grandfather's wedding band for the wedding? And I, I still don't even know what to say about it. I, she asked if I wanted my grandfather's wedding band as my wedding band for the wedding. And I, I was honored, I was so excited, I just never thought that that moment would happen where I was openly treated as if I was any other grandson, as if I was, you know, straight, as if I was marrying a woman. Because, you know, that's what maybe goes through your mind when you think of an older generation, you think, well, you're supposed to marry a woman. And it doesn't make sense as much to older generations sometimes why you would you know, choose this life in a sense, because that's sometimes where their, their heads are at. So she hands me this ring and tells me to try it on. So I try it on and I put it on and it fits perfect. I shouldn't keep it on, should I? There we go. <laughs> and that just was like a sign to me that it was completely meant to be, that she offered this to me I put it on, it fits, I felt like everything was as it was meant to be. And that is a feeling I haven't f fully 100% had yet with the wedding because you know of these bumps that are going to happen along the way. And this was like, we got to take the expressway or something, like we got to skip the bumps, get in the HOV lane and zoom past all these bumps. and get past all of them because nothing else matters when you are given a gift like this. I'm so happy that she has honored me with this gift. 
This is a very personal thing, and I, I just want to say thank you, and to everyone that watches these videos, just know that you're not different. We are all subjectively normal in our own minds, and who cares what anyone else thinks, because guess what, the people that, you th that look at you and think that you are different, or you think think that you are different, may not think it at all. So, yeah, let me put this down gently. I'm very excited to wear my grandfather's ring at the wedding, and Pat will still be getting a ring made from my uncle, and I think this it kind of ties it all together. I'm just so happy, and I, you know, have any of you out there, have you guys ever had a moment like this? That moment where you didn't expect something positive, and something positive came out of something that you thought could possibly bring out negativity. I would love to hear about it. We would love to hear about it. This has been one of the most exciting moments of wedding planning because it was the most real, and I can't get over it. It has made my wedding even more complete, and I can't thank my grandmother enough. As usual, you know, if you have been watching our videos, I'm so happy to have you guys on our journey and having just been with us through all the questions that we've gone through, that we've tried to help answer as best as we could and kind of just show that the answers are not much different than our straight friends that are getting married. So like, subscribe, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, all that, everything's below. So check that out and uh, you know, I'm sure Pat will have a video soon that he can do on his own where something has, you know, really moved him during this wedding or something that's very important to him. So thanks for being on this journey and uh, we will talk to you soon. Bye! I'm happy.